Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of benchmark fractions and percents. This is standard 6.4F in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 31 off the 2022 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we've got four points on a number line. We need to find which one of these is best represented by 33 and a third percent. What in the world does that 33 and a third percent mean? All right. Well, let's just figure out where these are in this number line. So these are all going to be fractions less than one. But in order for us to plot these, we need to know what the denominator is. And it might look like tenths, but we need to verify by checking how many spaces there are. So that gives you your denominator, right? So we're going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So interesting. These are actually twelfths. And then for our numerator, we're just going to count the hash marks, right? So this W is going to be on this first hash mark. So that's actually 1 twelfth. 2, 3, I've got 3 twelfths for x, I've got 4 twelfths for y, 5, 6 twelfths for z. So let's turn those into decimals and then decimals into percents. Now hopefully uh, this particular standard is, is asking 6th graders to memorize benchmark fractions. So we should automatically learn what some of these decimals or these decimals and percents and fractions are, but we could do it the, the long way until we get there. So let's check out this W, 1 twelfth. So if we want to turn any fraction into a decimal, we've got two options, right? We can always divide up. So I'm going to take my 12, divide it up into 1. And so that's going to go in 0 times. So that's going to go in another zero times. So I need to go in, there we go. Goes into eight, goes into, or 12 goes into 108 times. It's 96. So it's going to be four. Look at this. I got to bring down another one. I'm going to have to do, it goes in there three times. It's 36. Oh, and there's my four. Again, so it's repeating, right? So it's, going to equal 0 0.8, uh, 0.083, repeating. So if I want to turn that into a percent, I would go 1, 2, right? And that would be 8.3 repeating percent. Or this 0.3 repeating also is 8 and a third, right? So that's where this comes from. When you see this one-third, that means 0.3 repeating. Okay, so that's not what I'm looking for, but I am looking for something that's got a, a 0.3 repeating. So that's your W right there. Let's check our X. Now, X is 312, so we can, we can reduce that, right? So if we simplify that, let's divide by threes. Look at that. It's going to be one-fourth. Okay, so this is, well, this is definitely one we should memorize. One-fourth is one-quarter. Each quarter is worth 25 cents. So one-fourth is worth 0 0.25, which is 25%. Not what we're looking for. Let's check our four-twelfths. Uh, we can reduce that by fours. So that's going to be one-third. Okay, uh, so... Let's divide that up. Three goes into one, zero times. Goes in there three times. That's nine. Oop, look at that. Three. It's three repeating, which is what we had right here. So that's actually going to be 0 0.3 repeating, which is the same as 33.3, because you just bring the threes out, or 33 and a third percent. So our answer here is C.